Hi, I'm Christy Tomlinson, mixed media artist, and this is Art Redefined, where there are no rules, just creative artsy play. Today we're going to talk about creating texture on backgrounds with stamps, paint, and more. So join me today. We are back. Okay, so last week I showed you how to create backgrounds using paint and paper. And this week we're going to add to those backgrounds by adding depth and dimension with stamps, um, texture, modeling paste, and a ton of stuff. So we'll get right and get started. Um, these are just some samples I wanted to show you right off. Um, you can tell here that there's just a lot of texture and dimension going on. And here's some other samples too. We've got stenciling, we've got rub-ons, we've got um, stamping onto it. This is another one too where we've taken the basic background with paper and paint and we've added so much to it. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. And I am gonna get my canvases out that we worked on last week and we are gonna add some fun stuff to them. So let's just start with this one right on the top. And one of my favorite things to, um, to start with is just stamps. Stamps are easy, they're really readily available. You can also make your own stamps, which I'm gonna show you some things that you can make them out of. Um, but stamping is relatively easy. One thing you wanna keep in mind is the kind of ink that you use. Um, I only use permanent ink, and um, a lot of stampers don't like that, or uh, card makers don't like it because it dries really fast, but in canvas art, we love that because we want it to dry fast and we want it to dry permanent. And um, archival ink and permanent ink does just that. So basically, to just start adding can um, texture to the canvas is we just take stamps. And there are a ton of different kinds of stamps out there. These are some of my favorite. They're roller stamps. And not many people know about them, um, actually. And they've been around for a really long time. But you, there's a lot of companies that make them. And they, they're meant to fit into a little... Um, like holder and then you roll the holder on, but I just use my hands because it's just as easy and I'm too impatient to change them out. And um, this is another form of a roller stamp. Glitz uh, makes this roller stamp and it's a lot of fun too. But you've also got any kind of wood mounted stamp, wood or wood mounted stamps work. Um, any rubber stamps that aren't wood mounted actually work great because you can press them and get them into the canvas anywhere. Um, acrylic stamps work great, just anything, honestly. St any kind of stamp that you have will work just fine and it doesn't have to be a certain design. So what I'm gonna do is first we're just gonna do a basic. Like this is just a basic grid and the kind of like rub or the kind of stamps that I like to use pretty much are any kind of texture stamp that's gonna give me a little bit of texture. Um, so you can see how it just added like total, like just instantly added dimension to the canvas. And then we're gonna go on to and add a little bit more and you can see that how it's just got the fun little lines in here. And that's just the words. And another thing that you notice, when I stamp on canvas, I do not want a perfect image, which is completely opposite to your normal stamping. If you're um, a paper crafter or if you're a card maker, you want a perfect image. In, in our, um, creative art play on canvases or art journals, you really don't. So whatever shape I end up with or whatever stamp ends up on the canvas, that's what I'm happy with. Um, see here, I only got a part of the numbers. Totally love that. Um, it's, it's part of like the, the fun of art. Um, one thing to always remember too is to do the sides of your canvas. Um, just because you don't want your canvas top to be all, have all this great dimension and your sides not to have any. So I just always do just quick paths along the side um, to get going. But that's a really fun way just to start off with stamps to add texture and dimension. Um, another great way for stamping, and let me grab another canvas is to use your own objects that you have at home. Um, this is a, a sponge that you'd use for the kitchen um, to clean with. And I'm gonna actually use this one with paint, but I'm gonna go through a few of these, these items. Um, believe it or not, this is a flip-flop. Um, I've obviously cut it, and ha um, cut it down in size, but I got it at the dollar store, and if you look at the bottom of the flip-flops, they have really awesome textures on them. This has a really cool like crisscross texture onto it. Um, this is, shelf liner that you would put inside of your cupboards. This is a, um, that you would, uh, uh, kind of like a shelf liner, but you would stick it maybe underneath like a pot or a plant so it doesn't move. Um, this is just a doily, um, a fabric doily that I got that's great for stenciling and it's also great for stamping. And then this stuff is called punchinella. Um, it's not really a household item, but it is the waste of sequins. So that they make sequins, punch them out, and then this is what's left over. And it's really great for texture too. So I'm gonna show you. First of all, I wanna show you the flip-flop. It is 
one of, it's one of my favorites ever. And you just put it on just like you would a normal stamp. And then you're done with just this really, really fun crisscross shape. And I'm telling you, you're going to start walking around and looking at the bottom of people's shoes. And you're going to be like, can I just borrow that for a minute? I'm going to stamp on my canvas and give it back to you. That's totally, I, I do that all the time. And you're going to start buying flip-flops and cutting them up. Now this one, I would definitely use um, paint on it because it's a little more... Um, where, where it's a sponge, it's designed to soak in stuff. So if I use regular ink, that ink's just going to soak in here. So I'm just going to use paint. And I have a terrible habit of using my fingers, but for this, we want to use a paintbrush. And then let's put the lid back on there. And when I stamp it, do you see how we get this really cool texture? It's the texture of the sponge. And pretty much anything that you have is going to create just fun texture throughout your entire, um, throughout your canvases. So just get creative, think of things. As far as the punchinella, how I would use the punchinella is with a paintbrush, there's two actually ways to use it. Um, you can use it with ink and you would just take it and rub like so just over it and that causes the design. But if you want more of like a random kind of painterly effect to it, then of course you're going to use paint to it. And we'll just dip it in here. And a lot of people use a stencil brush. I just use whatever paint brush I have on hand. And I just like to randomly stencil. And you can see that it leaves just really cool dots. And then we can go in after this is dry and define those dots with, um, with a, a doodle pen or something, it will give it even more texture. Um, another fun way to use that, and I'm gonna go to this small, this actually isn't Punchinella, but it looks a lot like it, but a really fun way to use this, and let's grab a different color so that we can see it. Get a paintbrush too. Is I just like to paint on the front of it like this and use it as a stamp. And then you just stamp it on. And it basically gives you the opposite. So where I would um, stencil it in, it would give me circles. The opposite's gonna give me like the honeycomb effect to it. So let's move on to rub-ons. Rub-ons, rub-ons, rub-ons. Um, for a long time, people, rub-ons weren't like in use and not a lot of people used them. And now they're, they're somewhat hard to find these days, but companies are bringing them back. Um, rub-ons come in all shapes and sizes, and if you're not familiar with a rub-on, basically it's just um, a design or image that you take and you um, rub it straight onto whatever you're working on. It can go on glass, fabric, um, canvas, it can go on paper crafting, and that design transfers onto um, whatever you're working on. And they come in, you know, I, I really like the border kind of rub-ons, those are some of my favorite, but they come in all different shapes, sizes, colors, you name it. So I'm just going to show you. Um, and let's go with, this is probably one of my favorites. This is a Kaiser Craft Rub-On. And they come usually with a little popsicle stick or whatever, and I just use my hands. This is just how I do it. But I'm just going to go in and I just rub with my fingers. Or you can use a popsicle stick, and I'm just going to do a few of them. Just to kind of show you. And you're gonna go right over the design. And when you're done, you have this really cool, random, um, fun designs all over your canvas. And I would actually layer this. So I would do stamps and then I would do rub-ons and I would do paint. So I would continue to build layers with all these different textures. And those are really fun. The thing with rub-ons, you need to go over it with decoupage or mod podge after you do it so that these stay on. Cause um, they're designed to stay on paper crafting. Um, but so to make sure to keep them on, go over with a coat of mod podge. The last thing that I wanted to show you, and it's probably the one that gets my heart going, Pitter patter every time I do it is a modeling paste and or any kind of paint, but it's kind of like um, stenciling. And there are so many stencils out on the market these days. Um, some of my favorite are vintage doilies that you can buy like at secondhand stores, on Etsy, eBay, things like that. But there's just they come in all shapes and sizes, and there are a ton of companies out there that make stencils as well. So I'm going to show you how to use this. You could use this with just basic paint, but I'm going to show you how to use modeling paste. And modeling paste is a thick kind of paste. 
um, used in art and it comes just in this white color and then you can color it whatever color you want. So I'm going to take it and I'm actually going to, let's see what color our canvas is. Let's use this bright green. Pour a little paint in here. And then we're just going to mix it up. And the modeling paste will take on the color of your paint, whatever you put in there. Um, one thing I do like to do is I like to use um, the, the inks with the paint, which are these, because they're, they have, they're a lot more vivid and brighter, bright, so they get you some really cool, um, like, bright, vivid color. But let's do, uh, let's do two of them. So we'll do this one here first. So you just place your doily right on the map, or your stencil or whatever it is, and you take your modeling paste, and you're just going to run over it. This is just like a little scraper tool. I don't even know what they're called. Spatula tool, I guess. You can also use a paintbrush either way. And you're just going to scrape it on there and then as you pull it off it leaves that really cool awesome design and every time I do it I'm like oh my gosh it's it's so beautiful I just love it and I don't know if you can see from the side here but you can kind of see like the dimension it gives it a little bit of a dimension so of course you're gonna have to dry that before you do anything else to it because it's going to leave um, it needs more time to dry but let's do let's just do some dots really fast too to show you and we'll just use the same color and again we'll go over it We pull it off and we just have a really awesome design. So it just gives even more texture and dimension to your canvases. And then of course, you know, once you get going, you've got finished canvases. These are samples of some, but um, you, once your canvases are finished, then you start adding stuff to them and the texture underneath kind of sometimes goes away. You don't notice it as much, but you've got really great like finished canvases that you can add artwork to. to. Um, this is another one. Um, I did the modeling paste on this one. I just actually free handed, like pasted on this way and then I rolled a stamp through it. Um, so you've got really good design and you can see the rub-ons here, you can see stamps on here, all over. Um, this is another one that I've done. This is mo another modeling paste and here's some rub-ons up in, in this corner and then um, you've also got some stamping down in here. So they just add more texture to your canvases. So, you know, look around your house, see what you can find, think outside the box for stamps, for stencils, for all sorts of things, and then get your paints out, get your inks out, and start creating, um, start having some fun, and get creative and messy. Um, thanks for joining me today. Um, we'll see you next time on Art Redefined.